it tastes like crap! Oh my god, the engine's right there. They're trying to get in front of the car. He's in the high shots, man, at the top of the head. Of course, it's not pan out. It's no disqualification in this match. Bang, bang, all the way around. Once again, fans, please be well back. If there's any left there, Bass. Oh, 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 oh no! Head first in that uh, wheelie bin, I think we've got that. And uh, finally back in the uh, ring side area. Did you see, this is what I was getting at, Bass. I don't even think Jack O'Lanian cares whether he wins this match. He's probably under instructions from Danny Psycho. He's under instructions from Danny Psycho to make sure that Tricky D is not himself up tonight. If he accomplished his injury in that ring, I think he'll be satisfied. And so look out, oh no, that chair to the midsection. I really feel for Tricky D because he was not prepared for this matchup. He had no clue what matchup he was walking into. He had no clue what opponent he was walking into. Hell, I don't even know if Tricky D had time to even look up all the different opponents that he could have been on scout and figure out what were their weaknesses. He may not know Jack O'Lanagan's weakness because I certainly don't think there is one. Oh, that's very true. Jack O'Lanagan's been paying the some more than we've seen in the past, but... Himself and Tricky, and now we're one at the moment as we see it is a no DQ match. This was uh, Danny Psycho picked Tricky D's destiny tonight, and uh, Tricky D certainly got his hands full with Jacko. And Tricky D at the moment is in charge of this matchup. He has it under control, and for his for his well-being, I believe he just needs to stay in control. He needs to lock. Jack O'Lanagan down, he needs to put him in a submission manoeuvre to make sure that Jack O'Lanagan does not get back up. Because I fear that if Jack O'Lanagan gets back up, this could go very badly for Tricky D. Oh, absolutely. I'm going to try and get him down on that. Uh, that is the name of the game here. It's the model for Tricky D. And these fans are clearly behind Jack O'Lanagan. These fans want to see bloodshed. They're cheering. They're, they're egging on. They want to see the blood of Tricky D. And they want it delivered in the hands of Jack O'Lanagan. What the hell, Tricky D now is uh, rearranging that middle turnbuckle, exposing that uh, steel structure. And the referee waving this one off, but he really doesn't get a say in this one. The referee can wave it off all at once. Jacko, put the brakes on. And again, oh, Tricky does not want to be on the wrong end of this. Oh, look out! Oh, Tricky, luckily for him, puts the brakes on and now back elbows is down even. Neither man is looking forward to their head hitting that exposed turnbuckle, because it will have a huge hit to the top of the noggin there to the, uh, the Halloween Havoc, Jack O'Lantern. Oh, we have to see Tricky D. He couldn't quite get the full swing on that because the guy towers over him. He's almost look at this two inches tall. There is, there's a high disadvantage in this matchup. But when it comes to experience, Tricky D has the advantage when it comes to experience. But when it comes to just sheer brain stupidity, then that, that definitely goes to Jack O'Lanagan because he's just willing to do anything to punish his opponent. Well, there is now Jack O'Lanagan. As Tricky D chops away at the big tree leg, Jacko, he's got to try and keep him down, but only he had down on the mat before he should have stayed on him. Oh, there we go. Oh, no! Drop toe hole and then face first. That's exactly what we didn't want to see, and especially to Tricky D. This is now yeah, not going to be... Oh, I really, I really worry what's about to happen here. Oh, he's set to the inside of something. Oh! Can't crash like impact there to the neck and head of Tricky D. That was right through the spine of Tricky D. And I have to admit here that maybe Danny Psycho knew exactly oh. what was going to happen. What the hell are we going to hear from Jacko? The table. Oh my God. And these silly fans are cheering this on. They were the great fans in attendance here tonight. They're 
just they're just thirsty. This is our this is our national champion that they're cheering to get broken in half right here. Oh, here we go now, softening him up. Just finish him off. Yeah. He can't be right. And I want to see it. There's great fans in attendance here. want to see it. And we all do. Oh, they're just too blunt, they are. This is our national oh, champion here. Yeah. What the hey, hey. Get him out. Matt Silver out of nowhere. Look out. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, look out. Tricky 